Tusan village on Kinmen Island is famous for its B&Bs and homestay type places. There's a lot of old buildings here that have been restored to their original look. And most of them used to be houses, except for the principal's home. This place used to be a school and it's now a very famous B&B. If this is your first time going to Kinmen, I highly recommend that you watch the clips I did on WeView Kinmen first to give you a summarized idea of the island and the layout of the island. Kinmen is famous for its old style renovated houses. Some are being used for cafes and some are being used for small shops, but the large majority have been turned into B&Bs and homestay type places. Now most of these B&Bs are under the administration of the Kinmen National Park who rent it out to private citizens. Booking a place to stay in Kinmen can be slightly confusing because everything is numbered. Every building has a number on it. So when you book a place it might actually be easier to navigate if you knew the building number. So the principal's B&B um, is building number 17 in Tucson for example. This B&B is famous because it used to be a school with six classrooms and these classrooms have now been converted into six decent sized guest rooms. The first one I went to is room number one, which is this one. It sleeps two people and the price varies between $2,080 on a weekday to $2,280 on the weekend. In fact, all the room prices at this B&B are the same. This one is room 3. It sleeps 2 to 4 people and it's also $2,080 a night for 2 people on a weekday and then $2,200 on a weekend. And then you pay an additional $680 per person for a third or a fourth person in this room. And this is room number five and similar to room number three, it also sleeps two to four people at the same pricing. And this room also has a very cool bicycle rack inside the room for people who bring their own bikes. The windows at these types of B&Bs are all solid wood slide panels that close like this, which is an important fact to know for blocking out light and noise commotion from other visitors. Also keep an eye out for the characteristic elements of each of the houses in this village, especially the tops of the roofs. Now if the roof has a pointy swallowtail design, that means somebody of official capacity or somebody with financial means used to live here. And if it's a round horseback design, it means an ordinary citizen lived in that house. Another interesting fact about this particular B&B is that the people who are taking care of this building at present are the direct descendants of the principal many, many years ago. And two final important notes, I was unable to confirm whether or not Kinman has a sewage recycling plant. So you might want to consider not flushing anything non-biodegradable. I know it sounds gross, but just think of it as you doing your part to protect the nature here. And another thing, Kinman has a huge water shortage. In fact, they will start buying water from China in the near future. So try to make your showers a bit shorter if you can.